Good morning, crafties. This is the part three of our Doggy Days 2 weekend. There was so much activity going on that I ended up doing it in three parts. I didn't want to miss anything. So here we go. Doggy Days 2, part three. This is part three of Doggy Days 2. If you haven't seen the first two parts, look them up. Part one and part two. One of the activities that actually happened on Saturday was the leash making activity. I didn't really participate in that, but a lot of pictures were taken thanks to Dominica and Rita and some of the other ladies. And here are the pictures they took of the leash making activity. <laughs> Sunday morning, we gathered together all of the food we had left over from the Saturday morning breakfast and the Saturday evening potluck. And that was our breakfast for Sunday morning before everyone packed up to leave. <laughs> was St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, and some of us uh, dressed our doggies with St. Patrick's Day accessories, and we wore our own costumes and accessories. Here are a few pictures of the ladies and dogs with their St. Patrick's Day regalia. <laughs> Sunday people will be leaving so I'll try and get a little video of them exiting the park because I wasn't leaving until Monday I stayed out until everybody left and got them leaving the campground here goes Diana bye Diana Okay. 
Sue, Stacy, and I actually all left on Monday, but I s held back so I could get their videos of their rigs leaving the campground. Another wonderful, fun doggy days. Can't wait till you have one again next year. Here comes Media Margie. Bye-bye! Here comes Sue! There goes Stacy! And I'm the last one to go! If you like the video of the last part of the Doggy Days, part three, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when leaving and saying goodbye to all our girl camper friends from Doggy Days. Thanks for watching.